Good afternoon, Caston. Today is Friday, April 9th, 2021. Today's holiday is National Unicorn Day. And today's announcements. Attention, any students who would like to participate in the Key Club walk-in to collect money for the Comet Closet and Caston Backpack Program can collect financial donations and turn them in to Mrs. Schultz or Bryn Butchkowski. Attention students, please send your spring break photos to either Delaney and Lowry or Elizabeth appears to possibly be placed in a yearbook. Thank you so much for your help. Please continue helping Grace Feist and Leah Hilton raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation by putting donations in buckets for either Mr. Stuber or Mrs. Holderfield to get a pie in the face during lunch. Donations will be collected now through the end of May. This just in, Mrs. Holderfield is now offering one chocolate chip cookie for each dollar put in Mr. Stuber's bucket for the Make-A-Wish fundraiser. Take a selfie of you putting your dollar in his bucket, then go see Mrs. Holderfield for your cookie, while supplies last. This also just in, Mr. Stuber appreciates Mrs. Holderfield's supporting Grace and Leia's Make-A-Wish fundraiser senior project and the hunger of cast students, but he has an offer of his own. He will donate one dollar for each hit Thursday and Friday during the varsity baseball game, varsity softball games, and JV baseball game. He will kindly donate the money earned for each hit during those four games to Mrs. Holderfield's bucket in his room. Everyone join in on the fun and donate. This is a special announcement from Mrs. Smith in the nurse's office. In partnership with the Cass County Health Department, Casson students ages 16 and older will be able to be transported by Casson to Loganport High School next Friday, April 16th, to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Any student 18 or older will receive a one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine, while other students will receive the Pfizer two-dose vaccine and will return to Loganport High School for the second dose on May 17th. Students wishing to receive the vaccine must have a parent signed permission slip turned into the office by next Wednesday, April 14th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Smith in the nurse's office. In guidance news, attention seniors, just a reminder that many scholarships have deadlines coming up soon. If you have any questions about scholarships or due dates, please see Mrs. Spin in the guidance office. And Silo College will be here next Thursday, April 15th during lunch to talk to interested students. In sports news, the varsity baseball team defeated Tri-County last night 14-1. Jackson Rensselaer led the Comets in hitting with three hits and four at-bats. The team also had a strong defensive showing with no errors in the field. The varsity softball team defeated Knox last night 12-3. Isabel Skelds led the team with two home runs and a single. Addison Zimbelman got the win, striking out at nine. The girls will be in action again tonight. In sports action, the JV baseball team will travel to win a match tonight to take on the Warriors at five. The varsity softball team will travel to John Glenn tonight. Game time is 5.30. In action tomorrow, the varsity track team will be at the Winnemac Invitational at 11. The varsity baseball team will play a doubleheader at Manchester starting at 10. The varsity softball team will be heading to Tri-County for an 11 o'clock start. This day in history, in 1865, at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, General Robert E. Lee surrendered his Confederate Army to Union General Ulysses S. Grant in the parlor of Wilmer McLean's home. Grant allowed rebel officers to keep their sidearms and permitted soldiers to keep their horses and mules. Though there were still Confederate armies in the field, the, army, the American Civil War was officially over. The four years of fighting had killed 360,000 Union troops and 260,000 Confederate troops. Celebrity Birthday Today Actor Dennis Quaid turned 67 Actress Kristen Stewart turns 31 today. Casting birthdays. Happy birthday this weekend to Peyton Boyer and Mrs. Holderfield. Have a good day.